An American Army Ranger is the finest combat leader that the United States Army can produce. He's a soldier that thinks well under stress, has critical thinking skills, uh, has the ability to move further and faster than anybody else, and he's going to lead his men into combat and execute his mission successfully. Welcome to the Ranger Training Brigade, Fort Benning, Georgia. It's 32 degrees outside and snowing, and it's a great day to start Ranger School. Hurry up, Ranger! Hurry up! The initial or Benning phase of Ranger School is conducted in two parts. The first is the Ranger Assessment Phase, or RAP Week, and it's conducted at Camp Rogers. This is where students are required to pass the minimum Ranger Physical Fitness Test of 49 push-ups, 59 sit-ups, 6 pull-ups, and a 5-mile run in 40 minutes or less. 27. They'll also be evaluated at the Combat Water Survival Test, Land Navigation, a 12-mile road march, Ranger Stakes, the Derby Mile, and the Malvesti Obstacle Course. <laughs> Students will also execute demolitions and airborne refresher training, and airborne soldiers will jump from high-performance aircraft. They're going to be physically tested during RAP week, all the way from the PT test to the airborne operation at the end of RAP week. Basically, it's a marathon event for them. Uh, very little sleep, averaging somewhere between three to five hours of sleep a night. And then once they get out to the patrolling phase, the marathon continues. The second part of the Benning phase is conducted at Camp Darby and focuses on patrolling techniques and execution of platoon combat operations. But first, students must negotiate the infamous Darby Queen obstacle course. You need to be in decent physical shape, but more than that, you need to have a big heart and you need to be mentally prepared when you come here. Ranger students receive extensive training in the principles of mission planning, the fundamentals of patrolling, and troop leading procedures. The students must demonstrate their leadership skills and patrolling expertise through a series of cadre and student-led combat training operations, which include battle drills, ambush, reconnaissance patrols, and air movement. We're assessing you on your ability to, one, execute the training you've been um, given, and two, to to be a leader. In order to succeed in Ranger School, you must not only pass the physical, mental, technical, and tactical procedures, but you must also be a team player, effectively lead your men, and get a passing grade from your peers in the course. Uh, if they did pass patrols, they don't pass peers, but depending on how well they did the patrols and how much they actually contribute to the patrol itself, on a case by case, it's, uh, it's, it's taken up to the battalion commander and the brigade commander, and they decide whether or not to send that ranger on to mountains. A lot of people come here thinking that they'll just, you know, gut through it by themselves, and, and, and they don't embrace the whole concept of it's a team effort, and you're learning to, be, to work as a member of a team and to lead a team. 